Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video, and today we're going to be looking at a Heracross, Shrine of Punishments, Grass Toolbox type of a deck. Uh, for in the video, I know I haven't uploaded in a few days, but I found that taking a few days off from making videos helps me decide what deck to do videos on, because there's days where it's like, I want to get a video out for you guys, you know, I, I actually do hate missing days where I upload um, especially because I'm getting really close now to a million total channel views, so it's like I want to just keep uploading and reach that goal. But there's days where there's no decks I'm really interested in making videos on. I don't just want to do a random deck that I don't enjoy playing, because then the video quality will affect that. So, yeah, that's kind of why I took a few days off recording. It actually does pay off pretty well, because taking a few days off kind of recharges your battery a little bit to decide what you want to record for the next day. So, yeah, there you go. Um, and the deck that I've been playing a lot recently is... Heracross, you know, I tweeted out on Twitter, which by the way, follow my Twitter in the description below, there is a link if you want to stay up to date on anything, I like asking you guys questions on Twitter too, you guys can interact with me that way. So Heracross here, I just sent it out, it's a lot of fun to play, this little anti-meta deck, it's fun to play, unfortunately though, Heracross doesn't meet the margin, but it's a fun card to play, Heracross has the ability Guts, which is its main thing, you know, Guts is nuts. Um, if this Pokemon will be knocked out by damage from an attack, flip a coin if this Pokemon is not knocked down and remaining HP becomes 10. This is a very cool ability. It makes Heracross nearly invincible as long as you don't get Tails. Now, Guts is rigged. Test in the deck. Guts w actually was not on my side. Um, but, you know, hopefully in today's video the luck will change. But in testing, the deck was still fun to play and I actually had a lot of close matches regardless. Um, now Heracross's attack pitch can do 2 for 50. Um, your opponent switches are active with one of their bench Pokemon, which isn't too terrible. Making your opponent switch can actually be really good if they don't have a free retreater or another attacker in play. This kind of puts them in an awkward spot. Um, now they do have to switch, so that's one of the negatives. I don't know. If you're playing against like Galissapod or Ultra Necrozma or something, that kind of sucks because you're basically putting them back on the bench, which you don't want to do a lot of the time, but it is what it is. Heracross's ability guts is what it, you're here for. Now, we actually have a lot of damage boosters in this deck. This is one of the things I like about it, is the amount of damage boosters. Pitch only does 50, which usually 50 damage is not enough damage to output, even with Choice Band. But there's a lot of damage boosters we have in this deck, and that's one of the appeals of using Heracross here. Um, the first damage booster is going to be Promo Lorantis. We have the ability Sunny Day. Um, each of our Grass and Fire Pokemon do 20 more damage to our opponent's active. So now Pitch will be hitting for 70 damage, and of course, this is a Shrine of Punishments deck. So with Shrine added into the mix, you know, that's 70 with the Lorantis. Now we got 80, 90 going back into our turn. So Shrine is making Pitch do even more damage. And factor in Choice Band, and then now we're doing like up to 120 to 110. But there's more to damage boosting than just those guys. Because we also have Professor Kakui which adds 20 damage on the top of it. But we also have to factor in Guts' ability does give Heracross 10 HP remaining, which is good because with Hustle Belt, now Pitch can do 60 more damage. Granted, you can't use Choice Band, but 60 more damage means Pitch will just be hitting for a base 110 damage if you got Guts to work. This is one of the best parts about Heracross is having Hustle Belt. It's a very good partner for Heracross' ability, Guts. And it's one of the nice things about it. Um, Pitch can do 110 damage, with a Guzzle Bell and obviously 130 with Lorantis, 140 with a Shrine, um, 160 with a QE, 170 going back into your turn. The math is really good with these cards. So we have a lot of damage boosters. So Pitch will actually be hitting for a decent amount of damage a lot of the time. Um, so that's the idea here. And we have some other grass types. This is a grass box deck. Um, I am playing two Firmosas here with uh, White Ray and High Jump Kick. I mean, High Jump Kick is not a good attack. One for 20 is pretty weak, but again, there's enough damage output that we can at least make High Jump Kick do okay damage. We can also use White Ray with uh, Counter Energy. Um, I originally did play Beast String in this deck, so you can build up White Ray, but I find that it's better just to play with Counter Energy. Um, but one of the big selling points of this guy is it is a free retreater. And I'm playing one Shaman, another really cool card in this deck. We can use with Counter Energy and Rally Back. We can use flippity flap which um can be good for draw in the early game if you get like a really bad hand you can do flippity flap but we also have rally back which can hit for 120 damage if something got knocked out during your turn and again with all the damage boosters we have rally back could take a one shot on something so very cool card to play in this deck uh, of course we got our rank guru for instruct and i am playing a 2-1 macargo engine uh, Macargo is just really good right now. I told you guys in that Buzzguard video that this Macargo engine with Lily and Kikui is just really powerful. 
And now Macargo is one of the staple drawing dudes right now. But yeah, Smooth Over is just really good in like any deck, even a Shrine deck. And I am playing a 3-2 for Mantis line. Um, you know, a 2-2 might be better, but I'm going with a 3-2. Of course, there's no GX in this deck. And there's not really any other like grass types I can think of you'd want to play. Because you want to play a baby deck. Um, you could play like non-grass type Pokemon, but there's not much I can think of. There's really not that many good Pokemon that are grass types. Like I was looking at like maybe Illumise because you can confuse your opponent. Um... You know, you could do, you could use Volbeat. I mean, that'd be pretty terrible, but, you know, there is a combo there. But, yeah, there's not really that many good basic grass types to play in this deck. You know, the big basic grass type right now seems to be Dalmines, but you can't really play in this deck because you need to take three turns to build it up, and I don't like that. So, it's not a really good idea. These are all the basic grass we got besides Heracross is the main attacker of the deck. Um, and this deck is reliant very heavily on how lucky you have. Guts, we go into the items now. Three Nazi Balls, you know, pretty standard stuff. Our Stretcher, we got our Switch. Um, some Pokemon do have heavy retreats like Lorantis and Cargo. I am playing one Timer Ball just to get our evolutions. Four Ultra Balls search for Pokemon, four Shrine of Punishments. Um, I would kind of cut this down to three because there's so many Shrine decks right now, you're actually pretty likely to run into like a, another Shrine matchup. So you don't want to have four, you might want to have three. But when you don't, you need four. Now, one card you may be interested in is why is there a Rainbow Brush in this deck? Well, the answer is very simple. When you use Counter Energy on Heracross, which you may end up doing, well, after Counter Energy uses its effect and you can't use it anymore on Heracross, you actually will have a Grass and a Colorless Energy on your Heracross, which does not count as a Grass, meaning you can't use Pitch. But what you can do is Rainbow Brush the Counter Energy back in your deck and just swap it out with a basic Grass Energy. So you can kind of see the combo there. That's why Rainbow Brush is actually good, and I've actually used it in situations where we needed that ability. So it's actually really good to play with this deck. Plus you get a safe Counter Energy for later, so it's really good. Um, we got one copycat, just a bunch of draw cards, copycat, Cynthia, Lilies, Kikuis, um, we are playing three Guzmas, I had two originally, but I found that it's actually good to Guzma out those Pokemon that you pitch to knock them out for later on, because they might go into another attacker when you use pitch, so it's nice to have the Guzmas, uh, again, three choice bands for damage, two hustle belts, um, again, we do rely heavily on guts, but just going three hustle belts, I don't like, I actually prefer playing choice band, it's more reliable sometimes. We got two counter energies and nine gra base grass energies, and that is the Heracross Grass Engine deck. It's a very fun deck to play. Um, it is a little luck based, considering when if you get like nothing but tails with guts, this deck completely just falls apart. But if you get lucky with your guts and you get heads every now and then, or even just two heads in a row, this deck can be very scary and um, it's pretty pretty tough. So let's get into some decks and well, decks, some games of the deck, and see you next time. Peace and chill. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go find some games of the deck. I didn't realize how smudged my webcam was, by the way. Um, so, apparently, my webcam was pretty smudged, so kind of fix that, I guess. But uh, this is a fun deck to play. It could be frustrating. We'll, we'll have to see how this goes. But, uh, again, this deck is fun. So, it looks like we're against a Dust main deck. Okay, this could be interesting. Okay, we're losing the coin flip, which is not interesting. Um... We'll have to see what we end up starting with and what our hand will look like. Alright, so we're going to mulligan. Um, a matchup like this, it's not terrible. You know, you kind of want to play against decks that use GX heavy Pokemon. So that's a good sign, I guess. Um, I don't think my opponent has any healing cards. This deck does kind of crumble, in my opinion, to healing cards. So we'll have to see. Alright, so we got the Heracross start. We didn't find a Grass. We do get a Slugma, though. Our opening hand is actually decent. We have a nice little Lily here, so this should be okay. My opponent going first is a little annoying though, especially if they end up getting a turn 2 Magnezone. That would be the hard part. We'll see if actually these Cutie Flies lead the field. Obviously one thing with Cutie Fly is that it does have free retreat, so this gives him free access to retreat with Pitch. Oh, he's playing a Lolan Doug Trio deck. Okay, interesting. This is going to be a bit of a weirder matchup then. I was expecting a full-on Magnezone deck, but no, it looks like he is playing... Doug Trio. I don't think Doug Trio is that bad, to be honest. I think it's actually a better matchup than you may think. This does mean we can probably get rid of a few excess cards here. Probably want to just grab a Fomantis. I can see Lorantis being useful here with Fermos's high jump kick. You know, we could actually use its first attack with like Lorantis and Professor Kikui. Um, hopefully, we find a Grass Energy here off this Lily. No Grass Energy? What? That's, um, that's insane. Um, we'll put down, I guess, Heracross? How much energy do we have? Wow, I'm actually still surprised we did not find energy. 
pretty annoying. Might as well not attach the counter energy. We could find Rainbow Brush and like an energy, I guess, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, I don't, I guess we'll pass. I don't really want to play the counter energy now. I might save it. I also could have Nest Ball for like a shame in there, but this is a weird hand. I can't really play Ultra Ball because I can't really afford to get rid of that many supporters when I just played two. We'll see, Heracross could get knocked out, so, you know, maybe the Grass Energy did not make a difference, because he could very well just knock me out this turn if Guts doesn't work. We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see. Shine is also going to be a bit of a useless card here, obviously. He's not playing any GXs, I doubt it, so... That's another reason why you kind of want to play three Shines instead of four, because then you don't have to worry about having so many cards that aren't really useful. So, that's one of the problems with playing Shrine of Punishments when you're playing a Shrine deck. I did not mean to click my discard. So, my opponent is going to get a Wolendub Trio. They're going to need four energies to knock me out to hit to 120. They can do one with Mount Coronet. Possibly one Ribombi. Ooh, they're not evolving the active, though. I guess they're going to retreat. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Then they can hit me for 60 with the Mount Coronet. Okay, so I guess they do have the, uh, they have the, uh, potential KO, it's just, is Guts going to do its thing and get heads? This deck does rely very heavily on how good your Guts are. I mean, even if we don't, if we, I actually might prefer to get knocked out here, because then we can still attack it with this Heracross, so we'll have to see. So he's gonna go Gold Rush, he has to go all in for the knockout, and if he does not hit it, this is gonna be very big to him. I actually would prefer him to knock me out, though. To be honest, just so I can use this counter energy. No, Heracross, rip. There's grass energy. Um, might as well just build up the bench, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We'll build up the bench, Heracross. I don't really want to play Ultra Ball. There's, there's, there's too many supporters I don't want to lose. Let's just Cynthia and see what we can find. Not really any rush right now. There's a shame in that we can put down. Might as well Timer Ball, see if we can maybe find Macargo. Timer Ball is literally the most useless card on the planet, um, and we'll just pass. That's pretty annoying, I hate Timer Ball so much, that card is so garbage. Uh, I mean, they need to give us a better way to get evolutions in play than just Timer Ball. I wish Evo Soda was still in the format. Timer Ball is such a useless card. I hate it so much. Alright, so my point will do Cynthia, which means they are going to dedicate another attack to Guts. I mean, I guess they only have to do like one Gold Rush here. Maybe we could outstadium him too. That could be very big. Outstadiuming him could be a way to win the game. Because I'm sure he relies very heavily on Mount Coronet. So maybe we can outstadium him here. That would be pretty big. Especially when he doesn't hit the knockout. That's huge. Let's see. Now, if maybe if I can get an energy here, I might actually try and target down the Ribombi. Actually, no, we are knocking it out. Never mind. Let's just see. So he's going to Gold Rush. Get in front of one energy. Does we get knocked out? Does we? Okay, we do. So Heracross finally goes down. This would be a pretty nice turn to try and go for Rally back. The only problem is if I don't hit it. This is why I like having the Feramosa. Such a nice card to go into. I think we just kind of have to go Heracross. I'd like to do Shame in here, but I don't feel confident I'm going to hit it. He does have a big hand. That would be a nice little copycat. Now let's see if we even hit an energy. We do. There's a Rainbow Brush, so I guess I could have played that counter earlier, but we didn't hit it, so I'm glad I went for Heracross, not Shaman. We aren't KOing him, though, which is a little annoying. And he does have a free retreater to go into, so kind of wish we had that full, the Lorantis promo there. We do have Kikui for next turn, so we'll have to see. Alright. So, he's going all in for that knockout. Now, if he does hit it, this could be bad. I might have to then try and gamble with Shaman, though our hand is not very good. We'll have to see if he does get the KO here. Let's see. So, he's going to do Honey Gather. He's going to get two medals. All right. So, he's going to hit me for 60. He's going to do Mount Coronet. No, never mind. I guess he already did. I don't know. Uh, whatever. So, let's see. Does he get the knockout? Does he get the knockout? Hopefully we live. This could be a really big turn if we live. Nice. Alright, see, this is where Guts becomes fun. Ugh. I was hoping that would give us... I guess we just have to queue and hope for the best. I was hoping we'd get Macargo or something. We do have a stretcher. 
Guess we can play it next turn. Unfortunately, we don't find any more Lorantis. No energy is also a bit of an issue. But we are going to be able to still use counter energy, I guess. So that's good. I'm not really a big fan of our hand, to be honest. I don't know how, what we can do. Not know what we can do. Now, if Guts can give us another turn, that would be great. Hopefully, we can get another turn here with Guts. So let's see. Let's see if he gets the knockout. Another turn of living would be huge. We just need to get Lorantis, and we should be good for pitch to just one shot. Really want to get Lorantis, because then even like high jump kick is hitting numbers that take out a low end of trio. I'm actually more surprised we haven't found a shrine of punishments yet, because I do want to get rid of that Mount Corn net. I don't know. Maybe he'll just run out, like, my, my idea is maybe if we outstadium him, he'll be out of energy somehow. Alright, he's going for the knockout with Diglett. And we live. Nice. That's huge. And there's the counter energy. So we'll attach the grass energy to Heracross. I could Guzma, maybe. I could have went, like, for a Guzma KO, but. Not that, I think it's fine. We'll knock him out, Pitch. We'll knock him out. Won't be able to use counter energy next turn, but I can do the rainbow brush combo. So this is why I like this rainbow brush. So there's counter energy when it's good, and then there's counter energy when it's completely useless with Heracross. Let's see, we actually might get... Okay, I was saying we might get a, neither Lorantis or an energy off the prizes. There is Lorantis. So now the game is going to be a bit easier. I mean, I actually don't know if it's best. I mean, yeah, he can mud slap knock me out, and then we'll just knock him right back out with Pitch. So I don't know. I mean, it's probably smarter than not attacking me with the main attack of your deck. We'll see if he even hits the... Uh, we'll see if he gets the heads again. If we can live another turn, this would be very big. So let's see. Hopefully we can maybe get Macargo soon. How many supporters have we played? We've played three of our Cynthia's and one Kikui. We still have a lot of supporters we can maybe get. We still have a Lily or two. We have our last Cynthia or the Kikui. We still have that copycat. I might actually just Guzma the Duck Trio next turn with Heracross. I think I'm going to do that. He's going to much slap me. Do we live? Oh my gosh. Guts is nuts. I actually feel <laughs> my opponent's so cheesed. <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll do this. I guess we could do Stretcher now. We'll Ultra Ball away Fermosa and Heracross. Grab Macargo. And we definitely want to get Macargo going. One way he could easily get around me is just by knocking out the non Heracrosses on my bench. But we'll see if he goes for that or not. Um. So yeah, we want to do Stretcher. Might as well get these guys back. We'll play Macargo. We'll smooth over for. Right, let's get Shrine so we can bump the Mount Coronet. Maybe I didn't need to grab because I placed so many Shrine. And there's another Grass so we can attach it to Heracross. We'll get rid of that. And we will pitch for the Knockout for 70. And we'll see what our prize is going to be. We might be able to set up a play here where like, we'll high jump kick one shot. So I think we're in a good spot as long as he doesn't target me with a Guzma next turn. He's obviously got more than just one Mount Coronet, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets replaced this turn. We'll see. We're taking a lot of prizes, though. We are taking a lot of prizes. Considering everything can mostly get one shot, except for maybe a Ranguru and maybe Ribombi, depending on if Lorantis goes down. That's fine. So he bumps the stadium. That's fine. We can go, try and we can just try and outstadium him. I'm sure he might play a Fisherman in his deck, but if we can outstadium him, that would be really big. Don't know how much energy he has left. He's got three or two in play. Three, so he's, he's, I think that's four now. And ooh, he's getting rid of that free retreater. That's another big thing to jot down. All right, let's see what he's going to do. It looks like he wants to just keep trying to mud slap me, which is fair enough. I'll probably just Guzma the Duck Trio next turn. Actually, I might take out Ribomi. Not, it might not matter, but I don't hate that. Diglett's not doing much, you know. Diglett ain't doing much. Alright, so he's gonna hit me for the knockout. Oh my gosh, dude. Heracross is confirmed broken. And he can see... Oh, that is dirty. That is dirty. Now that's what Heracross is all about. That is what it's all about, folks. Getting there. Hey, we get a Crimson Invasion pack to reward us. 
Now, that's what Heracross does best. I mean, that would be insane if we were up against, like, a GX heavy deck. Oh, I'll have to read that in a minute, but, uh, we'll see. We'll open up a pack, and then we'll do another game. I kind of want to do play against a GX deck. Hopefully, I don't want to just have every game be against, like, a non-GX deck. So, I'll try and find a game where it's more GX heavy. Um, so, I'll try and get a game for that, because yeah, I want to see how that would play out. And our rare is a Wiggly. Pretty bad. We got a Haunter, though. Sure. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a minute with another game. Alright, guys, here we go. Let's do some more games with the Heracross deck. I want to find some GX matchups. I keep finding more more non-GX Shrine deck matchups, which, you know, not very fun to play against when you're playing this deck. So here we go. We have a Fighting Lightning deck. Most likely going to be... Well, I hope it's not a Shrine deck again. You know, don't want to play against that. Alright, let's see. So we are going to start with Fermosa Double Heracross. Alright, not a terrible hand. If a Rangru is prized, this hand would be really good. And starting with Fermosa is really good. Just having that ability to free retreat is just really good. So we'll see what we end up playing against here. And if it is going to be a GX deck. I do want to find a matchup against a GX deck eventually. Alright, nice. Rockruff is a good sign. Um, it looks like he's playing Zork Lycanarch is my best guess. I think because we top deck Macargo, I think Slugma is going to be the correct card to get here. I don't even know if I want to play the energy on Heracross. We could high jump kick him next turn. I mean, we are only doing 40. I mean, I guess we'll build up Heracross. We could top deck an energy. That could happen. So we might as well just hold off and see if we do top deck it. This is most likely a Zork Lycanroc deck. We'll see, though. I'm glad we are up against a more GX-centric deck, because I do want to do want to do some games against those type of decks. That's kind of what you want to play against when you're playing this deck. Alright, so we'll have to see, though, if this is Zork Lycanroc. Lycanroc is a good card to hit. You know, Lycanroc and Rockruff, they're both weak to grass. This is why I did consider doing High Jump Kick, because it is a grass. For most of it, can hit him, and if we top deck a Professor Kikui, we'd be able to hit him for... 60 so we'd be able to hit him pretty well actually no we do more than 60 right we do 80 with a kikui so there you go so my opponent will ultra ball getting rid of guzma and his own kikui for a lele nice all right so if he puts down some gx's this turn we can shrine him we can punish him this could be um i'm not gonna say it's a lycanroc deck i mean i didn't actually see any dark types so maybe he's playing a zygarde deck he might be playing a zygarde lycanroc deck i don't know Hmm, I don't know. Ooh, he's gonna escape rope. That's fine. We'll just bring out Heracross. Doesn't really matter. I have a feeling this is not a, um... That's annoying. I have a feeling this is not a, uh... A Zork deck. He would have went for Apricorn. I don't know. He's gonna be able to hit me for 60. That's kind of bad, especially if we don't get an energy here. We did get a Guzma. Eh, it's not really helping, though. Uh, we'll have to just do Smooth over here. Probably for something like a Cynthia... I think Cynthia's fine, and I might just Guzma and bring out that Rock Ruff, so we're going to do that. Don't want to lose Heracross right now. Might as well just do this, and we will pass. We do have 50 HP, so Hustle Bell wouldn't work, but I think it's fine. Just get that Lele out of, get it out of the way. The DC, though, I don't know, like, it tells me it's like, I don't know. Oh, we had a Guzma in hand, that's annoying. That is the second one, though. Okay, so it is, I, I still can't tell what kind of deck this is. Hopefully Guts gets heads. Nice, and that is what Guts is all about, folks. You want to get heads. Wow, a Cynthia, I didn't know we would talk like that. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, not bad. Um, I was hoping we'd maybe find a Hustle Belt there for Heracross, but I'll take what I can get. We'll smooth over. I actually might get Counter Energy in case we do get KO'd here, so I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to keep the Choice Band. They're actually pretty important here to one-shot Lycanrox, and uh, we'll hit him for 80. So we're going to hit him pretty hard. He's going to have 70 HP left, so we should be able to knock him out next turn. We know we're going to get that counter G, so all is good. So we're back in the game. We are back in the game. He might retreat. He could Dangerous Rogue knock me out. He could also Claw Slash me. Doesn't really matter what he does. We should be able to take down Lycanroc in the next coming turn. So he's going to get rid of two Choice Bands. So he's going to get Lycanroc. I still don't really know what kind of a deck he's playing. I guess it's like just a pure Lycanroc deck. I don't know, to be honest with you. Oh, wow. I'm actually kind of surprised he's not targeting Macargo. He's bringing out the other Heracross, which may not even matter. Ooh, okay. So, you can get Buzzwool. He might not be attacking me this turn, it looks like. No, he's not. Now, Gut says it does not have to be in the active, right? Yeah, so he could Jet Punch my Heracross and not get heads. Unfortunately, we 
No, we can get Switch. It's fine. Yeah, we can get Switch. Okay. Smooth over. We might actually be able to knock him out this turn. I don't really know where I, I guess we'll put on here across. We'll smooth over for Switch. Hopefully it's not in the prizes. Okay, we're good. I don't think we can take out Lycanroc this turn, though. Unfortunately, we do not have any way to do extra damage. Hustle Belt would be nice. We, uh, we could knock him out if we played Hustle Belt. That's fine, though. We'll just pitch him. We're going to be able to hit him pretty hard, though, still. 160 plus the Shrine. He's only going to have 20 HP left, so he's still going to be really weak. Um, but you can see how this deck does these not these GX heavy decks. Now, he will be able to probably knock me out Lele here if he really wants to. He does need to get rid of that Shrine of Punishments, though. Because it will KO that Lycanroc. So it looks like it's a Buzzrock deck. I thought it was going to be some, like, Zygarde deck, but no. I completely forgot about Buzzrock. And he's actually going to go for the Jet Punch, which is fine. We'll see if he ends up getting the heads here on the guts. Come on. Tails. Alright, well, we get Counter Energy activated now, which is pretty good. I could have built up White Ray to hit him even harder. But I'm actually fine with this. We can keep the guts up for now. He's going to have 10 HP left on that guy. Nest Ball is a pretty good draw. We can get another Heracross. I mean, I guess I got a Stretcher for it, but I think I'm going to save the Stretcher. Um, since we have Counter Energy, we don't really need to attach it. Um, just burn all these cards. I'm going to save the Stretcher for next turn. We're going to Cynthia. Really looking for Fomantis here. Okay, mm we do find Slugma, which is fine. Hmm, I guess we'll get rid of Vulture Ball. It's the only other card I don't think we'll need there. We'll grab Fomantis. Could grab Shaman too, though. Ranguru wouldn't be terrible either. I could actually play a Ranguru this turn. Not much I really want, though. I guess we'll just grab Fomantis. I actually kind of like the idea of getting Shaman more, though. Yeah, you know what? Shaman actually does seem good. We do have the other counter energy, right? No, never mind. Didn't we get rid of the counter G early on? No, we didn't. It's on our hair across. Okay, never mind. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can combo any, like, Rainbow Brush play to, like, get the Shaman to attack. I don't know. I still kind of like the idea of getting Shaman, though. Nah, we'll get Fomantis. I don't know. I would like to goof Shaman, because we probably can knock him out with Shaman next turn, but I don't think we'll be able to combo it. I don't think we will be able to. What do I want to get? We're going to attack it with the counter energy one. We're probably going to get knocked out. I guess we'll just guarantee the extra energy so we can do another pitch, I guess. Sure. Should be able to take four prizes here. Thankfully, counter energy is still activated. And we'll hit him hard for 80. We can always do a rainbow brush play next turn with Kikui and Makargo if for some reason we don't get knocked out by uh, the uh, thing, which could happen, right? You know, that's the thing with guts. You know, you get heads and Whatever. That's why we do the Rainbow Brush. Okay, we got a Guzma. Guzma's really good. We should be able to wrap the game up here shortly. Because this Lele's only got 20 HP. If he does not bomb any concedes, there you go. This deck against those GX decks, especially something like Lycanroc, which you want to see, because Lycanroc obviously has that weakness to grass. That's the matchup you like. And we got another pack. Beautiful. So we're getting a lot of packs here. We're actually getting closer to that rare chest, too. I'm going to go deck manager, but uh, yeah, you can kind of see when you play against these GX decks, you know, you like to see that. Heracross can be hard to deal with. Guts is definitely very powerful. Where is that branch house? I kind of wish we got to take more use of Hustle Belt, because Hustle Belt could be really good there to hit him for 110 on those Lycanroc. Lycanroc being weak to grass means Hustle Belt will let you KO it. So maybe I could have been a little bit more, you know, less... Okay, wow. Really, we got a Malamar? What a bad pack. But maybe you could have been more cautious with my choice bands there, just so I can try and do a Hustle Belt play. It's fine, though. Alright guys, here we go. Let's do some more games with the Heracross deck. I know the win streak's back at zero. I play against a stall deck, and I cannot keep a sane mind when playing against stall decks. I'm just going to say that right now. I cannot keep a sane mind, so yeah. But we are up against Zorg Lagenrock. Like, 200% is going to be Zorg Lagenrock. A matchup I'm fine with, and we win the point flip. Hopefully we get a good start here to confiscate for going first. Okay, we got the Fomantis. Ooh, not really a good hand, though. Oh, that's a little annoying. Is he going to mulligan, though? Doesn't look like he is. Rip. We'll see how we fare against Zork Lycanroc, though. I might be able to play my whole hand down. We'll see. Depends what we top deck. You know, Rainbow Brush? Mm, I guess we can discard that. We'll get Heracross. We do have a Rangu. We got both Lorantises. We got all our Heracrosses. We got both Slugmas. 
Mostly everything's in the deck. How is the energy looking? Two grass energies are prized. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. That's going to be an issue. We'll get rid of Rainbow Brush from the cargo. We'll get a Ranguru. I mean, I guess it could be Slugma. I get Slugma in the next turn, I'm guaranteed to get something. But I'd honestly rather just go for Ranguru here. We can do a few things here. We can shuffle the Macargo back in the deck. We can draw two cards. We can at least draw four cards this turn, which is good. Or hopefully let's get a Cynthia. Ask you shall receive. All right, here we go. I'm hoping we can hit energy here. We really need to find one. There we go. We got Formosa, which is pretty lit. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully next turn we can Lorantis knock out the Zor Zorua, assuming it's not going to turn to a Zoark, which should be good. I mean, there's a lot of things we can do with this hand, hopefully. We, maybe in worst case scenario, we could QE knock him out, it's fine. One thing that could get in the way, though, is how many rollers is my opponent going to be running? That's one of the things with the Zork like Rock matchup that can be very tricky, is how many ace rollers do they play? And Ooh, I'm actually surprised he's putting the DC on it. And just a Lily for a few cards. He does find a Zoro off that. Does he find any other Pokemon? Okay, does get Ultra Ball. I'm actually glad he's playing that DC. If this thing is not moved from the active next turn, that will be a nice easy prize for Heracross. There's Rockruff. So the Lycanroc, you know, he could use it as a way to get around me so we don't he doesn't have to worry about guts, but it's fine. He's gonna ram me for 20. We'll be able to knock out Zoroid here. Hopefully we just think. Good, we got Fomantis, sure. We might as well play this Kikui now. Okay, we got Lorantis. We're gonna hit him pretty nice here. Uh what else? I, I'm just going to hold the hand. I don't really care about anything else in this hand. I don't want to get rid of it, so we're just going to knock him out with Pitch. Heracross could go down next turn. It's not guaranteed Heracross will survive, obviously. But it's also not like he's going to come out of nowhere the light can knock and knock me out. Like, he's going to have to hit a Zoark here. And he's, I don't know if he'll be able to fill his bench up. Okay, he's going to Bloodthirsty Eyes me. We have already played one of our switches. We don't have access to Guzma, which is a bit of an issue. He's going to Timer Ball, Double Tails. Nice. That's what I like to see. Maybe we can ta draw Guzma. I don't know if I am if I really feel like just going for like an Instruct play and then trying to like get Guzma off Instruct. We do have three. We haven't played one yet, but I'm not really a big fan of that idea. It might just be safer. Maybe just let him knock out Lorantis. I did already play my Stretcher though, I think. So I don't know. He's going to get Cynthia. Yeah, we already played our Stretcher, right? Yeah, rip. So Lorantis goes down, we lose it. Lorantis is actually kind of important in this matchup. So he's going to do Cynthia. Does he get the knockout? He could just very well knock me out this turn. That could always be a possibility. Okay, he does have the knockout, so that's fine. So he'll be able to KO my poor Lorantis. But he's not really doing with Heracross, and that's what we want to see. He's going to go for the uh, smooth over. He's going to guarantee the DCE, so he's going to guarantee a KO here, unless for some reason he prizes all three DCs. Let's find out. Now, so he's going to take the knockout. We are going to lose some of our damage output, which is a problem, but hopefully we can get Shrine of Punishments going. That would be amazing to get Shrine here. We'll bring out Formosa. Bye-bye. We're not going to be able to get that Lorantis back. Ooh, Ultra Ball. Got to get rid of a few energy cards, which is a bit of an issue, but we'll grab Heracross. I could have went for... Um, maybe I could get Shaman, but I can't play it, so there's no point. So we'll do this. We're really looking for Shrine this turn. Shrine or Choice Band would be good. Guzma, okay. I could have afforded to actually do that play then if he didn't knock me out. Ooh, no Shrine of Punishments. That is pretty punishing. We'll just grab Slugma then. So not hitting Shrine is a bit of an issue. That's going to really suck here, not going to lie. Not finding Shrine kind of stinks. And we'll see if Heracross lives. We can pitch him. He does have to bring something out, I guess, so that's good. He could bring out Lele. Lele won't knock me out, though, unless he Kikui's me. So, we'll see if this pays off. But again, not finding Shrine is very, very bad. Because we always want to play our Shrines, but we didn't find it. We should be able to get it next turn, though, thanks to Ultra Ball. Not really knowing, though. I don't want to get rid of all my energy, though. We're already down two energies. We're, we're discarding a few important resources, like wasting Stretch for that early on. Um, we even used a Rainbow Brush, right? So... We're burning through a few resources. I might want to slow down on that. I might want to slow down. Now, he is guaranteed to attack me this turn, but we'll see if he even guarantees a knockout. He might just get Guzma here to knock out probably the Slugma. But he's not dealing with Heracross, which is still good. 
He's gonna Ultra Ball. I mean, he can grab, I guess, another Lycanroc, but that's another GX to be in play. We can probably target Lycanroc eventually, too. He's gonna get rid of... Okay, Timer Ball and Choice Band. An Energy Retreat. Energy Retreat? Am I seeing that right? That is an Energy Retreat. Well, that is indeed. All right, he's not playing Energy Recycle System, a.k.a. the Bay. Oh, he's gonna get another Slugma. Okay. Double Macargo actually doesn't really do anything for him because if he does two Macargos back to back before he trades, it actually cancels the first one. And he's not even targeting my Slugma or Fomantis. I'm actually kind of shocked he's taking out a Ranguru. We are going to lose draw support, which kind of sucks, but I'd honestly rather lose a Ranguru than that. Can we kill him this turn? We can get Shaman. We will be able to hit him for 120. All we need to do is find a Choice Band or a Lorantis. Let's go for that Shaman Counter Energy play. Let's do it. I want to show it off. Let's just check the deck. We do have Lorantis. We have a Timer Ball. We have our Shrines. We still have two Choice Bands. All right, Shaman, I'm feeling lucky. Again, we are having to discard some important cards there, but if this works, it's going to be huge. Nice. All right, we got the Choice Band. We got... Oh, wow. I'm not going to lie. This is a really good hand. We can do a lot. Oh, no, we don't even have the Attach Choice Band. That's right, we do have the Shine. I'm an idiot. All right. We'll uh, smooth over for... What do I need? I guess another Grass. No, why did I do that? I don't know. I didn't really need anything there. Not much I'm really looking for. Yeah, we are going to Shaman Revenge KO him. He doesn't even know there's Zora in play, which is really huge. But yeah, there you go. Shaman. This is why I like it in the deck. 120 out of nowhere. Taking out that Zoar, And he has no other attackers in play. Plus, the counter G is now cancelled, so Lele doesn't knock me out without that Professor Kiwi. There you go. Shame and make it work. We can even, you know, do Rally back. Oh, I should have grabbed Lorantis off Smooth Over. Why did I grab a Grass Energy, guys? You guys have to correct on me and bump me. That kind of sucks, though, the fact that I didn't grab Grass. That's a bit of a dumb misplay. Oh, he's going to hammer me. All right. Rip the counter. That's both counter G's gone. That's fine. Maybe I should have grabbed Guzma. I was considering Guzma at first, but again, I did. it didn't look like Shame was getting KO'd. But I didn't predict the enhanced hammer, so there's that. Ooh, but he's just gonna pass. So he's guaranteed to get something next turn. I really don't want to get rid of this energy, though. <laughs> it's too much energy to discard. I might just do... Actually, you know, I think it's fine. I think we can afford to get rid of the energy. We'll smooth over for Lorantis, I guess. We'll choice ban... I might want to save that for Hustle, though, but I think we're going to play the Choice Band. He hasn't played a Field Blur yet. And we can hit him pretty hard with Pitch. A lot of damage here. This is a nice thing. All these damage modifiers makes Pitch actually do good numbers, especially that 100 damage. We could have been two shot in Zoar GX here, too. Well, one thing to note, he still has not He still has most Guzmas. He still has no Lion Rock. He could still win the game by not even worrying about Guts. We'll see. Okay, there's Zoark. He's going to guarantee to attack me and potentially knock me out. So we're hoping my boy Heracross lives here. But it's good to know we can finish off that Lele for the game. Maybe even finish off Lycanroc or Zoro where they win the game too. We still have two Guzmas. So he's going to do trade. Ooh, that Ace Roll of Discard is massive. That's one of the cards that makes this matchup kind of sketchy sometimes. I don't know if he's playing two, but I'm glad he got rid of that. He could have ace rolled Lele, which I probably would have done considering he's already guaranteed to get like what he wants off his Macargo. It might have been safer for him to do that. No, he's gonna ride his beating me. Alright, guts, this is the this is the time, guts. This is the time to get heads. That is the time. That is that, that's what I'm talking about, guys. That is what I'm talking about. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful. Kinda wish I could play Hustle Belt. Heal Blower wouldn't be bad. Um We're gonna smooth over. We're definitely gonna get that Guzma. Because he's gonna be forced to switch out. And then we'll finish off Zork next turn. Cool. So we'll pitch him, hit him pretty hard. Guts is nuts, man. Guts is nuts. When I was testing the deck, I wasn't getting that lucky with Guts. I'm glad when I am making the video, Guts was on my side. That is really nice. He's gonna bring out Lele, which is fine. He can knock me out, I guess, with that, but that's a lot of DC. He's already wasted, right? He's already played three. I guess he has one left in the deck. He can get a Guzma, of course, if he wants. Don't know what... I, I don't even know what he takes out here. I mean, both Lorantis and Macargo are really important. So, it's either one or the other. It's probably going to be one of the two. Let's see. He's going to do trade. 
I'm gonna get rid of a choice band. I mean, this thing is gonna get knocked down a few turns if he doesn't bump the stadium. He hasn't even gone for a field blower yet or a counter stadium. I'm assuming he's playing at least one counter stadium. So I don't know if he really has a way to stop the shrine. He's gonna ace Rolla. He's playing two. That's a little annoying. That's fine though. We still knock out Zoark here probably. And this guy can get finished off or the rock off at any time we want. So that's fine. Ooh, stretcher. Just, uh, I thought he had a Lycanroc in the discard. I'm just gonna get back a baby Zorua. And he's gonna play it down, not even going for Lele. That's actually kind of interesting. Alright, so he's gonna smooth over. He's already done trade though, so he can't play it. I mean, I guess he can do double smooth over, double trade. It's fine. Alright, Guts, let's get heads again. Ah, uh, Alright, that's fine. You know, Guts did his job. That's fine. We're still in a really good spot. We'll probably win next turn. We'll just keep the hand. Shrine is putting in work. We'll put down Heracross. We'll attach Grass Energy to it. Probably do Macargo. It's fine. What do I want? I doubt we're, we could get knocked out next turn. We'll guarantee the energy so that we have game. He's already got rid of a Judge, so we'll see if we keep this hand. We'll guarantee the energy, I guess, for next turn. Well, timer ball just to burn it. That card's useless now. I don't really want to play the ultra ball though. Double heads. I get double heads when I'm not getting anything. Go figure story in my life. Alright, here we go. Pitch, knock out the Zoroark, and we just need one prize left to win the game. And he still needs to take three, and I have no GX on board. And we have two Guzmas to target, two Pokemon weak to grass. So this game should be wrapped up very shortly. And we'll take our two prizes. Copycat, Kakui. Both are really big. Nice. So yeah, we should be able to wrap this game up, guys. Even if he knocks out Heracross, we got this guy. It's all good. Does he even have a DC left? I think he does, right? Yeah, he's got one left. He's gonna drop Lele. Let's we'll see what he's going for here. Nothing. Alright, sweet. No, he had the Judge. Oh, shoot. I didn't expect him to be playing that many Judges. That is kind of annoying. No Guzma either. Ooh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Could we lose this game because of that Judge? Ooh, we still have Macargo, but it's not looking good. We got a hook. This actually has to be the one turn Guts gets heads. Dang it, I was not expecting a double judge. That is very aggravating. Come on, Heracross. This is the one time I need to get heads. Kind of wish I had a Rangu right now. We could do some tricks here with our hand size. All right, come on. This is like the one turn we need you, Guts. We need you. We need you. If Guts fails here, I, this win is going to be really hard to get. We could potentially just finish him off with white, high jump kick, Lorantis, choice band, trying that could happen. But, yeah, we really need you, Guts. Hopefully we draw one of our Guzmas. If not, we're guaranteed to smooth over for it. He should be out of judges by then. Alright, come on. Let's go, Heracross. We need you. Come on, get heads, Guts. Come on. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, I think we do attach the Formosa to do that play. Uh, we'll smooth over. We'll guarantee, well, to be fair, I don't know if he can even attack me next turn. He'll be guaranteed to retreat. What if we don't find the energy, though? We only have one left. We have better odds of hitting Guzma. We'll get energy then. We still have an energy prize, I think, right? Pretty sure. I don't know. Let's pitch him. We're not doing as much damage, unfortunately, but we're not targeting Zoark. We need to just win the game on Lycanroc. Shrine's back in play. Let's bring out Lele. Alright, so let's see. All we need to do is just win the game. We'll win if, if, he, if, if we survive another Guts. Just having one energy left sucks. Swell is kind of sad to scarn all those energies early on, because we could win the game with high jump kick on this Lycanroc here. High Jump Kick will win us the game on Lycanroc, if we can hit it. Or pull it off, at least. We know he's guaranteed to find the energy. He hasn't even played a base energy yet, has he? He hasn't. At least he can energy drive me. He's got to attack with Zoark. We're guaranteed the energy, too, so we can do something. I could just... I can't do Flippity Flap. I only got one energy left in the deck. I think I don't even attach it. I think I just double smooth over until I get something. Ooh, he's getting back. Ace Rolla, and I thought Guzma... Okay, Ace Rolla is not what I want to see him get back. 
Did he already do a trade? Let's find out. Did he already do trade? I wasn't really paying attention. But again, the Rockruff is also on the bench. It's not like we need to target Lagunark. We do have a lot of Rockruff on the bench. Oh, he already did the trade. He might ace roll it here. He's going to attach to Lagunark. Ooh, Guzma. Oh, on Lorantis. Okay, interesting. Not even going to target Macargo. Okay. Losing Lorantis does make this harder, but again, Shine is still in play. We're guaranteed the energy, we're not guaranteed the win though, right? 120. Okay. We'll play down another Fermosa for the shoots. And yeah, we'll get Guzma. We'll guarantee the win next turn. He didn't shuffle a judge bag, did he? And I please don't be playing three judges, all I gotta say. And we'll pitch him again. So we should win next turn. As long as he doesn't evolve this Warcraft and Ace Roll with his Lagunar all in one turn. But he probably sees, oh, this Zork's heavily damaged. Get out of the way. There's a lot of Pokemon on his bench we can target. So, that's fine. And he's going to bring out Lagunar. Alright, so he's going to Dangerous Rogue me? Alright, that actually means I win the game if he doesn't judge me. or something. We don't even need to get Doosm anymore. We'll win the game if he goes for Dangerous Rogue. Very intense match, though, guys. This is a very intense game. I'm really hoping we can come out on top, though. I doubt... If he's playing three judges, we can set that. We could still get Guzman. We actually have not have that many cards left in the deck, but let's see. But the reason I'm not Ultra Balling many cards with Handaway, uh, you can see I want to keep this, right? But at the same time... And he's just not even going to put back that Lycanroc, and that gives us the win. He probably just thinks I don't have any energy left. Let's hope he doesn't. So he's going to just Claw Slash, but that means I win... He needs to he needs to find a way to heal this and there's no way. I think we win guys. If Guts just does if we survive too and Guts gets heads, this is just gonna be hilarious. He's gonna do another Macargo. He can't do trade this turn. He might be just trying to get Guzma to win next turn, but again, we just attach energy and boop. Lycanroc gets killed by pitch. Alright, let's just get heads so we don't even lose the prize. Oh my gosh, I'm done, dude. Guts is insane. Guts Guts is broken 100 percent Guts is the best ability in the game, and he can see it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guts is too good. Guts is too good. But that'll wrap today's PC Joe video with 60 coins saving up for Lost Thunder. Looking forward to that set. And uh, yeah, this Heracross deck is just bonkers. It's fun to play. This is a very fun deck to play. If I were to change it, I don't know what I would add. I, I kind of feel like maybe taking out a Fomantis. I might just go 2 2 Lorantis instead of that. But otherwise, this deck worked fine. I'm actually even happier we got to show off the Shaman which is awesome. We got to take a nice big knockout on that Zoark, but this deck is really fun to play, and I'll see you guys on the PC Joe video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe down the road to 4,000 subscribers. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, again, make sure to subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys on the PC Joe video. Check out my Twitter in the description. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Have a good day.